Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to check the new kit well it's a relatively new kit from Edward, it's a limited edition MiG-21 MF which is dedicated to Czechoslovak Air Forces and you can see two aircraft on the box art and this is a dual combo kit in a limited edition we have one piece of this uh, quite rare release and we are going to check it closer so first of all once again I would like to uh, stress that this is a dual combo kit so we have two kits inside for MiG-21 MF uh, subvariants manufactured in Moscow and Gorky plants there are um, it is quite heavy box I would say because we have inside uh, 128 pages book about MiG-21 Czechoslovak uh, air service and of course there are various bonuses which are typical for Edward limited editions and we are going to check them closer but um, another interesting feature is that we have 39 marking options inside I will show them like this and it is really impressive in my opinion because here we have another portion of the marking options so with two uh, kits in the box you will be able to copy two out of these 39 as you can guess and it is really cool because in one seventy second scale such build won't take a lot of space but you will be able to copy some interesting markings so because these are absolute identical plastic kits we are going to check only one plastic sprue of each type and well, we will talk about them in a second I just heard that something broke off oh, give me a second okay we are going to start with this clear plastic frame so just give me a moment I will open it and I will show it to you just like this okay so here we have this clear plastic frame with various transparent parts and obviously canopy here will be assembled out of two sections so you can open it and expose the cockpit and just like in the previous um, limited edition kits and also profit packs we have masks included you will see them later so there is no need to be worried about how to mask these clear parts but molding quality looks impressive to be honest and it should be really easy to work with I know several modelers who already assembled this kit and they were really pleased with the overall design I would say okay next we have two absolute identical plastic frames in one plastic bag so I'm going to take one out and I will show you what is included here so just give me a second it is a bit tight fit okay not that easy to remove out of the bag but here it is so here we have fuselage halves and parts division is absolutely identical to what we saw in previous 172nd scale release so as you can see two halves we have wing uh, molded together with lower section of the fuselage and top section is molded together with tail fin and rudder we also have here tail wings which are molded as one piece parts and wing features quite interesting design because we have leading edge uh, serving as a guiding element and it, it will also help you preserve the uh, nice I would say join line here because it repeats the panel lines on the actual aircraft so it means you won't have really ugly seams between these two halves and here you can see that inside fuselage halves we have guiding pins so it will be easier to align these long parts and we also have these special guiding tabs which will help you with internal elements such as cockpit and the engine nozzle okay now we can move on to the next portion of the plastic spruce again it is given in a double, double set let's say or double package so I'm going to show you only one because there is no need to show the same parts again and again so first of all here we have quite interesting sprue with mix of various parts here we will find both internal and external parts for example here you can see landing gear tires but this is a one piece now cockpit 4 which is combined together with nose wheel well here we have the nose cone which is molded as a one piece part engine nozzle parts, wheel well parts and even the uh, front combing panel is also here so everything looks quite nice let's not forget that we get the 
uh, PE parts in this kit so cockpit will be upgraded for sure and some parts will have to be sanded in order to be um, let's say upgraded with PE parts but as far as you can see some are provided in the plain versions for example these side panels and it means it will be easier to install the PE parts because you won't have to delete the plastic you just use the right part and you will be good to go another thing is that here we get full armament set well relatively full because there are uh, really many different types of various rockets but here we get the most popular ones let's say also fuel tanks are included and you get everything out of the box if you would like to get something more detailed you can get the brassine set obviously but you will have to pay for it I mean it will cost additional money but with this you should be more or less fine in my opinion it is um, quite a decent choice for out of the box build so you won't be you know, let's say dissatisfied with it. Next we go on with resin ports so here we get several special resin ports for Czech versions so just give me a second these are typical resin ports so there is nothing bad about it it's really good ports here you can see them they're not that big here you can see comparison with my fingertip but they should be handy in order to copy one particular marking option which is included here next we go on with special bonuses for the build so just give me a second first of all we have the uh, 2p frets actually 3p frets why I'm a bit confused because we have the MFN P fret here and that's pretty much all it's pre-painted as you saw but then X in the another plastic bag we have here MiG-21 MF interceptor so as you can see that's approximately the same set of parts but we get for the MF interceptor and here we have another one for MiG-21 MF fighter bomber and I will have to remove it because we have this um, signs getting in front of the P fret so here it is also pre-painted P fret and it looks nice but I guess you have to be careful by choosing these parts so that they correspond to the variant you choose to copy in the scale next we go on with another small plastic bag and just give me a second to remove what is hidden there so here we have mask sheet it is a pre-cut mask sheet and it should be handy not only for the clear elements but as far as you can see also for the uh, external elements as well that's really cool because some of the marking options they uh, require you to mask the rudder for example or tail fin and here you are covered literally let's say because Edward included such bonus out of the box now I'm trying to open the next plastic bag I'm not sure what happened with white balance of the camera but here you can see this plastic bag so just give me a second okay so we get two huge decal sheets with all necessary symbols for zero member 39 marking options and they are printed in cartograph because this kit was released before Edward upgraded their printing equipment so here you can see first one with various stencils and insignia actually there are three decal sheets so I will show you more so here we have all necessary stencils and next we go on with another decal sheet here we have some of the camouflage elements again a lot of stencils a lot of national insignia various writings here and printing quality looks really nice so there is nothing to complain about and I guess application won't be difficult as well and another one is here so here we get the segmentation for each marking option we also have quite nice printing quality we have even decals for now uh, cockpit in case you are afraid to use PE parts and again we have decals for three versions of this aircraft which is quite interesting but printing quality looks impressive to be honest okay and next we go on with another special bonus so this is a book MiG-21MF 
which is printed as a soft cover as you can see um, it is quite heavy and it's wrapped into this plastic bag so now I'm trying to open it and it doesn't go so I need the knife just give me a second so here on the book edge you can see that it's a uh, written that it's the second edition of this book because before the previous limited edition series was released in 148 uh, scale and it was sold out really quickly but now we have the let's say upgraded version of this book with additional photos and stuff and just let me show you so here it is. It is important to note that you can't get this book separately from the kit. It is only um, attainable or acquirable with kit only. So if you would like to have it, you will have to buy the kit. And here inside we have a lot of photos and marking options with aircraft, which are actually featured in this kit. So it might be a handy reference guide for your future build. There are a lot of stories, but they are written in Czech language. But I guess in Today it's not a problem to use the Google Translate, translate it and understand what is written there. But as you can see a lot of interesting shots which might be handy for diorama ideas as well. Okay. And last but not the least is the assembly manual. But it's not as simple as it sounds because here we have two assembly manuals. One is instruction sheet and another one is camo schemes. So first of all we are going to check the instruction sheet. So this one is typical for Edward. Here we have parts map, paints chart, assembly process starts with cockpit. Then we continue with joining fuselage halves together, install various external elements and bits. And next we continue with wing mechanization. Here we install air brakes and landing gear system. Um, you can even install the rocket thrusters if you would like to. But you have to be really carefully uh, careful if they were present on the real prototype, on the real aircraft. Here we can open the air brakes because they are molded separately. You can also open canopy of course. Here you assemble various armament. You have the loading scheme. And also here we have mask guide. So as I said, it's not only for the canopy but also for the fuselage elements which should be masked as well. Okay. And another thing is the um, camouflage sheets instructions because we have here 39 marking options so we are going just to flip through the pages. I won't be naming each one of these. I mean you can easily check them on the AdWord website and they have them all available but as you can see the overall layout is pretty much standard for Edward. We also have the paint numbers in Gunza designations. So it should be easy to understand which shade you need here and there. As you can see some aircraft will employ these special masks because they are needed to achieve the uh, necessary camouflage elements. So be sure to use them otherwise it might be a bit tricky. And of course don't forget that the nose cone is usually painted into the uh, different shade and it should be easy to copy on this kit because here you can paint this part separately and install it afterwards when the model will be finished but amount of marking options looks really impressive so it should be not that easy task I would say to choose what you would like to copy here we have stenciling guide for the pylons and external equipment Next we have stenciling guide for the aircraft and here we have as well for the MF version. So this kit should be available on Edward website. If it will be sold out you can find it in some good model shops or maybe on some websites such as Scalemates. And I think it is interesting release for check market and it might be interesting for these modelers who would like to copy an unusual let's say marking option of the MiG-21 MF. And of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about this kit here in the comment section below. If you like this video don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye.